I think that one of the contributing factors of Logan's drug use was the divorce. Logan's drug use started socially. It escalated into Oxycontin, any form of opiates, and to heroin. Logan started to appear more withdrawn, slurred speech. His physical appearance started to change. During this time in high school, he began having seizures. We had suspicions that the seizures were due to the drug use. Logan had a lot of behavioral issues. At one point, he ran a car through a building, potentially high. When I saw Logan spiraling out of control, I tried to intervene and turn his life around. I was a tennis instructor, so I tried to get him into sports, but it was too hard with the drug use and his physical deterioration. About two years ago, we lost all contact. The last time I saw my brother was shortly after my first child was born. I noticed behavior that led me to believe he was high. He had chipped teeth, a scab on his face due to rough living on the streets. When I confronted him, he denied it. At first, he was angry, but he was sad at the same time. He stayed with us for a couple days, and then we had to send him home due to drug use. Logan's missed so many events that it's become a normal thing. We don't really discuss it. I've accepted the fact that Logan could die from his addiction. I've prepared myself for that day. I've been lucky enough to meet Dr. Phil and play tennis with him. Dr. Phil graciously offered to help in any way if I ever needed it, so now I'm asking for that help. I'm hoping that Dr. Phil could somehow get through to him and make him realize that his life is worth living. You haven't seen Logan for a couple of years. That's correct. I wanted to talk to you guys first before he ever came out here because I want to be sure that everybody's kind of coming from the same point of view here. Look, everybody has a history. You know, we all have a learning history, and we're all products of our learning history. I, I don't disagree about that. But to the extent that we're stuck focused on that, that means we're not focused on him and what he's doing. If a marriage breakup and kind of a tug of war between parents and all the fallout from that, did that have an impact on him? I, I'm sure it did. That was then. This is now. And now he has a new history and that history is living on the street and living in that rough world and being driven by those motivations and those priorities and those value systems. He's an addict today because he was an addict yesterday and the day before and the day before and his life momentum is taking him there. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.